Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our Bible reading this week is Romans chapters 2 through 11, and our memory verse is Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, which in the New King James reads this way, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. We've been talking a lot about what this means this week, and I want to concentrate a little bit on this concept of a gift, and what does it mean? Does it mean that we don't have to do anything? There's some people who, in the idea of salvation being a gift, have the mentality that, that that doesn't really require any effort on our part. We don't have to change. We don't have to be different. You know, the Jews had a similar mentality, except theirs was based on their heritage. They said, we're Jews, therefore we're saved. <clears throat> and they believed that God had chosen them simply because of the fact that they were Jews. And what God tried to get them to understand over and over again is he wasn't just interested in their blood lineage. He was interested in their faith. He was interested in their hearts and how they conducted themselves. When we go back to Romans chapter 2, we see some concept of this. Romans chapter 2 and beginning in verse 1. Therefore, you are inexcusable, O man, whoever you are who judge. For in whatever you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge practice the same things. But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. And do you think this, O man, you who judge those practicing such things and doing the same, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? But in accordance with your hardness and your imp impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to each according to his deeds. Eternal life to those who have patient continuance in doing good, seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anguish on every soul of man who does evil, of the Jew first and also of the Greek. But glory, honor, and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first, and also to the Greek, for there is no partiality with God. We need to be careful of the concept that just because God has given us a gift, we have no responsibility. We talk in our memory verse about the wages of sin is death. And in this context of Romans chapter 2, he talks about the wrath of God being revealed against who? Those who continue in unrighteousness those who refuse to give up the life that brings condemnation. The Jews would look at the Gentiles and say, look at all the things that they're doing. Look at how wicked they are. And it's easy for us if we're not careful to do the same thing. If you read the rest of this context in chapter 2, he begins to make some very specific examples. So you accuse them of doing these things, and yet you yourselves are guilty of the exact same things that you're accusing them. You know, we can't just say, well, I was baptized once, or, well, I wear the name of Christian, or I go to the right church. We have to live a life that is in accordance with the gift that God has given us. We have to be willing to show the repentance. He says these people did not have a penitent heart. They didn't change. We have to change who we are. We have to behave differently. Otherwise, Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 will still come back to haunt us in the day of judgment. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. We thank you for thinking on these things and hope that you will join us again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.